Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. So I have an interesting one for you today, but first a shout out. Um, this is to actually a, a friend of mine out there who's a fellow YouTuber, uh, the uh, Last Game Hunter. And I wanted to show you guys a shirt that I picked up the other day that uh, kind of reminded me of him. So here we go. Check it out. This is his tagline when he signs off all his videos, guys. Are you jealous yet? I know you are. All right, man. Well, listen, guys. Today, we're going to do a brand new product review. Now, this company actually um, didn't sponsor this, but did specifically request that I do a review on it so that I can post it on Amazon. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do this live for you guys so we can see what it looks like. So here we go again with another product review. I think you guys are going to like this one. Here we go. Back with you again, guys. So, we live in an age, unfortunately, where security is becoming an increasing issue. And if any of you guys are watching the news, certainly right now, it's even more of a case. Security is going to be something we've got to be very conscious of um, at our businesses and certainly at our homes. So, this guy came up here and he said, look, we've got a perfect solution to uh, give you kind of that nanny cam thing, but hide it. So, check this out. What we've got here is the Foo Vision. Photo frame Wi Fi security camera. Now, the picture on this is awesome. The boxing itself, guys, kind of cheap, obviously made in China. It all, it, pretty much everything is. Um, but the picture, and check that out, Stumpy. That is an awesome picture. I want to see if this actually looks like this. What it's supposed to be is, and if you look at this, it's supposed to have a, a Wi Fi capabilities, but have a camera built into the frame. So if you look at the frame, you can't even see where a camera would be based on the design. At least that's by the picture. Let's crack it open and see, shall we? Now, these guys have actually been really kind. Um, this will be going back to them. So this is one of those videos that's not sponsored, but um, I definitely want to give it a fair review. So if it's good, it's good. If it's not good, you guys are going to find out right now. I will post links to this down in the description as well as... Uh, a link to the last game hunter so we can check out this shirt man you're, you're gonna love it but, all right so let's crack this open and see what we got here all right got some instructions here with a uh, oh this is the actual manual oh check it out guys so instead of a one page you get a giant flyer that's kind of cool um, it's all pretty basic it looks like you can access it with your mobile phone which is good Ooh, actually guys this is really pretty so here's the meat and potatoes of this thing. It's got some weight to it. I'm actually a little surprised in the age of plastic. All right, so let's crack this open. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, man, guys, look at that. Look at that. That is really, really nice. I'm going to see if Stumpy can get a wide pan of that. Um, and, of course, it is a picture frame, so you can actually obviously put your own picture in there. But um, it looks like the camera, you can see all these little dots around here. The camera is actually right there, and that is the microphone. But unless you were right up on top of it examining it, you'd never even notice that. So it looks like uh, it's got a little stand. Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, so what else we got in this box here? Looks like we've got the charging cable, which looks like a standard micro USB. We've got a, what looks like a, this is a micro USB to USB adapter. <clears throat> looks like it comes with a screw in order to mount this to the wall, if you were so inclined. And that's about it. Okay, so first thing I noticed, they do not come with a micro USB. That's kind of interesting, because normally these things, they'll come with like a little small 8 gigger or something to kind of get you started. Uh, but in this case, it looks like not so much. Yeah, we'll see. But all right. Uh... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a micro uh, USB on this and then we're going to charge this thing up and fire it up and let's see what it looks like. Here we go. All right, guys. So I want to go through a couple of these steps because this thing is so well built that it's there are no on off switches on this thing, as you can see. But it looks like from the instructions that the actual on off switch is located underneath this picture. Um, and that's a little bit challenging because what you got to do and I'll show you this. I figured it out. You gotta get a small object up under the corner here to pry this off. Now this is also the same way you would actually change the picture. And you can run straight up across here. Now normally I would use my little plastic like picks um, that I use to replace phone screens and such, but this comes off real easy so we don't really need to do that. So we're just gonna go on down the corner here. 
As you can see, it just pops right off. And we'll go down this side the same way. And there, now the frame comes off. Okay, so, as you guys can see in here, now we can get a kind of a look at what's going on. Now, these are infrared lights, so apparently this thing actually has night vision too, which is pretty cool. Um, here's the actual camera itself along with the microphone. Now, it looks like this button is a reset switch, which I think is pretty interesting because it's not on the instructions. So let's get under this picture here, if we can, and see where the power is. And there it is, guys. Okay. So I removed the picture. And as you can see, there is the power switch. That's actually pretty cool. So, uh, you know, anybody just walking up here wouldn't know this was anything but a picture frame because there's no switches on it. It looks like a picture frame. Uh, looks like the SD slot is also right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get an SD card slot, uh, or excuse me, an SD card installed in here um, and get this thing turned on and we'll get it charged up. And let's, uh, let's see what it does. I'm really curious myself. All right, guys, so we've got the SD card in. We've got it turned on, and you can tell by that flashing LED there, and hopefully Stumpy's picking that up right there. Um, the next step is to go ahead and connect this to the Wi-Fi. Now, to do this, you have to connect it to your phone first and then to your actual router. So I've got my iPhone here, and as you can see, it shows up as the Yai right there. All right, guys, so every now and then, you run into that product that you want to work, but it just doesn't and we now have one of those products so let me explain what's going on so the yi is what this is called i actually had to do a little research on this uh, frame it's supposed to directly link up to the wi-fi of your house and to your phone the same way so what you would do is you would go ahead and turn on the frame uh, and then you would turn on your phone uh, your phone is linked to your wi-fi you download their app, you scan a QR code, and then it links to the uh, uh, frame itself. Now, at that point, what it's supposed to do is, it's supposed to use your phone to link to the Wi-Fi of this to connect to the Wi-Fi of your uh, house or wherever you happen to be. Uh, and the way it does it is actually kind of unique. It actually sends out this piercing signal. I'm actually gonna see if I can show you guys this. Um, the concept being that at this point, it would sync up to uh, the system itself. Now, what it sounds like, I'll show you here. You scan the QR code, we're just doing it on Stumpy here. All right, comes up, you type in the password of your Wi Fi. All right, you connect to it, then you type in some sort of uh, security password just for you to be able to access it. All right, so we're going to put in just a generic password there just to try it. Okay, you guys, hearing that? It plays this signal for 180 seconds. What it's supposed to do, and I'm gonna kill it. What it's supposed to do at that point is to link up your phone and the Wi-Fi in here. The light does change colors, but nothing ever happens. No link is ever established. And to let you guys know how many times I've done this, I've done it on five different phones, and I've done it multiple times on each one to try to get it to link. Never, ever does it link up to this picture frame. So I did a little research on Amazon. As it turns out in the product reviews, they're 40% positive, but there's 60% that are 50% or lower, and it all has to do with connection issues on this. So I hate to tell you guys this, for the first time in a long time, we got an epic failure here. It will not connect to the Wi-Fi. Therefore, we can't test any other functions of it. We can't even access the camera. We can't access anything else they promised for the night vision or the audio recording. They even boasted in this that the battery on a 24-hour charge on this would last for a year on standby. Once again, we can't test it. It doesn't work. So I'm going to have to give it a big thumbs down, guys. This one is horrible. So don't buy it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to link this down here in the, in, uh, in the description field uh, just so you guys can see it and read through their views because, frankly, they read kind of comical. As for me, most assuredly, i got to let the company know, guys, you got to work on your connectivity. The way you guys have got this set up is just completely difficult for no reason whatsoever. There's a lot easier way to have done this. Um, so keep doing your research. I like the look. I like where you're going. It just doesn't work. you got to get us a product that functions. And listen, I've been in IT for 30 years. If it doesn't work for me, it's definitely not going to work for the end user out there. It's just not going to happen. So, all right, guys, listen, thanks for watching. And I will not, I promise, use the tagline, 
because this tagline belongs to another YouTuber and you know who you are out there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Epic failure, you don't always get winners, you know how it is. Um, I got another product review coming up, something that I ordered on a Facebook scroll item not almost five months ago, and it showed up in the mail miraculously that I'd forgotten about it. So uh, we're going to be doing that one next, probably the next day or two, so keep your eyes open for that one. Um, and I'm working on the new Baker Pie. It's, it's really big, and it got a little more complicated than I wanted, but I think it's going to be really nice. So have a fantastic week. We'll talk to you here in a couple of days. I want to apologize for the, uh, the funky audio once again, guys. Uh, my lapel mic died. There's another one on the way for tomorrow. <laughs> I ought to do a review on that company because it lasted, what, three months? So we'll see what happens. Um, but we'll see you guys very soon. Stay safe. See you later. Bye-bye.